Today in this video, I'm gonna tell you five of the best cannibalism movies, which is actually almost all of them, because we don't have much perfect cannibalism movies in the world. So they are going to be from the fifth to the first one, and the first three ones are gonna be the best ones. Before we start, I have to say that I'm not gonna mention those famous ones like Hannibal or The Silence of Lambs because they are completely well known and everybody knows that. Another thing that I want to tell you is that I just made a Telegram channel and in this channel, I put all the perfect musics of the movies that I'm introducing or giving analysis about or whatever. So if you want to join the channel, the address is here in the description part. Let's go to the number five of our list. One night on a dark road, a woman is driving her car and she's been kidnapped by a man who's been tracing her. A little while later, the police finds her body parts in the river. And the story gets more horrible when we find out that one of the police agents is her fiance. So when he sees this scene, he completely goes maniac and he tries to trace the murderer to find him and take his revenge. So he sets this special plan without informing the station. Later in the movie, we more get to know this murderer person and his friends. So something that makes this movie really special is that it is not acceptable. Except. Expe expectable. So this movie has good actors, it has good acting, and also it is a total mess which can devastate all your expectations. Number four. There is this family living in a mother world, but they are secretly following their ancient traditions at home. They've been living in this way for years and years, but one day there is a flood and this flood flows out all their secrets. So two of these three children with their father get in charge to deal with this problem. But the story gets even more shocking when we see the children's reaction and solution to their father's orders. Okay, so here we are and I'm gonna tell you the best first three ones. I guess that you all know the story of the Hansel and Kirito. So this movie is almost based on that story, but it has some differences and it's those differences that has put it on my cannibalism list. It's about a brother and sister who can't stay at home because their mother is kind of having mental problems and she's always telling them that you have to get out and it's for your own good. If you don't get out, you will be harmed. So they have no other choice than just live in the house. And the very sad thing is that the people are not really being hospitable to them. So they have to walk through the village and the forest to find a home. And finally, they find their way to a house, a very real structured one. Parenthesis, if you like architecture, this movie is really good for you because it has really beautiful forms. So they find this house being filled with very delicious foods and candies and this and that. And an elderly woman who is the owner of the house tells them that you can stay here but you have to help me with the housework. So they start staying in the house and they are really satisfied with everything. But slowly and step by step, things change and nothing is pleasant anymore. And also I have to say that it has a kind of psychedelic atmosphere. <laughs> like it gives you this kind of sick feeling, you're on drugs, or you're just seeing all these in a dream. Okay now, let's go to the second one. We all have a monster inside, but the question is that, do you want to let out this monster? The movie is about a girl coming from a vegetarian family who gets to a vet school to study in there. The atmosphere of the school is kind of weird and strange, and it's not like she doesn't like this atmosphere or this school. No, actually, she likes it a lot. And we see that she gets more passionate and more emotional when she's spending her time with the people in there. This university and her sister, they have a very strong impact on her and they all make her to let her little monster out. If you want to watch a real pure cannibalism movie with no exaggeration, then this is it. This is the movie that's nothing is gonna replace it. The interesting thing about the movie is that it is not trying to scare you, it is not trying to horrify you, but it is horrifying in its nature.
And now number one. The movie is about a man who is apparently having kind of mental problems, like he's a bit maniac. So this man is oppressed by the mayor, and his family, including his wife and his daughter, are taken away by the mayor. After a while, he gets back to the town with this special plan to take his revenge. On his way to take revenge, he finds this baker woman who's been kind of broke. So they open up this bakery, they start making meat pies, and they start collaborating with each other. The music, as I told you in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna put the perfect music of these movies in the channel. And also for the next video, I'm gonna choose one of the first three best ones and explain it and give analysis on it. If you don't want to miss my next video, then subscribe to this channel and also ring the bell. Don't forget to put like and comment. Until the next video, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.